Good morning, this is Nicholas from Gandora Gaming, and we have brand new Labyrinth supports and Phantom of Nightmare. We have a new Dark Guardian and Dark Element cards. So this is super exciting, not only for the new Labyrinth strategy, but it's also exciting for other TCG exclusive decks, being Gold Pride and Goaty. Uh The reason why I'm super excited is because uh the ocg just got a set where they got all three archetypes together being labyrinth gold pride and goatee as an archetype they were just like all three in a box and i told you all that most likely we'll be getting support and fam a nightmare will be getting gold pride and goatee support and this almost confirms it for the simple fact that labyrinth being a tcg exclusive archetype is getting support and it's getting OCG support and Family Nightmare as a two cards, which is super promising for Goaty and Gold Pride because they're the other TCG exclusive archetypes from last year uh, and the year before that definitely deserve some love and support. And this is always hinting that we will be getting new support in this set, probably two to three cards, which is absolutely incredible. And I'm super excited to see what we get for both strategies. But uh, that's not what this video is about today. This video is about the Labyrinth cards. I just let's go straight into this and see if they're any good. So first things first, we have Waji no Sukura, or Dark Guardian. Uh, Dark Guardian is a level 12 Dark Warrior Special Summon Effect Monster. So it's a main deck monster. And it has 3,800 attack and 3,800 defense. So it's gigantic. And you can only, and this card is always treated as a Gate Guardian card. Which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, you can't be, it can't be normal summon or it must be special summon with dark element or from your hand and graveyard by shuffling a Saga of the Thunder, Kajijin, and Suijin into the deck from the among your face up cards on field, hand, or graveyard, or face up banished. So this guy basically says, hey, shuffle back your gate guardians, special summon out this boss monster, this behemoth of a man, and then... He cannot be destroyed by battle, so he can't be killed by battle. And then if this card is supposed to be off by Dark Element, it's unaffected by the other monster's effects and other opponent's spell and trap effects. So this guy, if you spell someone with Dark Element, which is the next new card, he is not only unkillable by battle, but he is also unaffected by your opponent's spell and monster effects. So only traps are going to get rid of this guy, which is absolutely insane. And you have spell and trap removal in the gate guardian monsters, the fusions, which is really, really strong. So uh, let's keep reading. Uh, next card we have is Dark Element. I gotta say, I love the artwork on here. It looks horrifying. Uh, probably gonna use that as the thumbnail. That shit is horrifying. But it's a normal spell card. You can only use the first or second effect of this card once per turn. If you have a gate guardian monster in your graveyard, pay half your life points, spell summon. A level 11 uh, monster. Uh, let's go. Let's put someone a level 11 gate guide, a guardian monster from a hand deck or extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. So, this card literally cheats out your biggest fusion monsters, which is absolutely insane. Now, it isn't properly fusion summoned, so when they die, uh, they won't be able to be reborn. But, don't forget, when they die, they also float. All the fusion monsters float into Kajin, Suijin, and the other fusion monsters. So, this card's already going to be a must of 3 of for the Gate Guardian strategy. It's already insane. It just cheats out not only the new level 12 from your deck, but it also cheats out any of the fusion monsters from the extra deck, which is absolutely insane. It also banishes card from your graveyard. To add one Sanjo the Thunder, Kajin, or Suijin that is banished or in deck to your hand. So it's also a Rota for your Vanillas, which is absolutely insane. So this card's going to be a must of three of. And you're probably going to be playing this Gate Guardian, uh, Dark Guardian guy. He's probably going to be one of, if not two of in the deck. But he's absolutely insane. So he's just a Towers from Spells and Dra uh, spells and Monsters. And he can't be destroyed by battle, which is absolutely gigantic. So as long as you can keep him protected from traps, you should be all set to ruin your opponent's day. Because this guy is absolutely gigantic. So, hope you all enjoy. Don't do anything stupid. Are you excited about the new Dark, uh, dark Guardian support? Or are you excited for the possibility 
that Gold Pride and Goatee will be getting support in Phantom of Nightmare. But uh, that's all I have for this video. Hope you all enjoy. Don't do anything stupid. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>